Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Sporting Rifles Chris Dalton on a last minute road call. Plus I take out a Hatsan over and under on a pigeon roost shoot to find out what this affordable gun is capable of. Chris Dalton is a man who knows a thing or two about Roe. So they just live, they love these little gorse bushes and they'll lie under them and then just step out. As the man behind South Ayrshire stalking, he has the privilege of stalking Roe amid some of Scotland's finest scenery. We join him as he makes his way to a part of his ground that's home to a sizeable population of Roe deer. The weather looks good across the hilltops. Hopefully it will hold for the evening stalk ahead of us. Chris loads up with 165 grain Gecko Express and performs an initial spy of the surroundings. There's not long left to get the last few does in the freezer and Chris has packed all his top gear to give him the best chance possible at a successful stalk. Fully prepped, Chris has one last spy before moving into the stalk. Right, what we've got is we've just left the vehicle and we've, um, we've stalked up a little gravel trap which is on the edge of, uh, just behind us is an old quarry. Um, and you'll see behind, across the valley there, the river with quite a lot of thicket, deciduous uh, woodland. It's run as a commercial shoot um, and therefore we're a little bit limited on what we can do and when we can stalk here. We've got to allow time for the keeper to catch his birds up so literally we're, we're really getting towards the end of the door season and by the time that we're actually allowed to do any work on it. Consequently it's a little bit later than we would be starting to shoot the doors because as you know we discussed earlier on at this time of year I would really only be taking followers there's a big planting scheme to go on the estate so there's a lot of trees to be planted so we've actually been asked this year to be reduce numbers um, a little bit more than perhaps we normally would. Carefully walking up the gravel track, Chris stops regularly to make use of his favoured Swarovski binos. Ever watchful, he keenly awaits his opportunity. Soon we realise that Chris is also being watched. A couple of rove gently move to the top of the ground to Chris's left. Unfortunately they are skylined and well aware of our presence to boot. We may catch up with them around the corner in a safer position. Moving off, we try to outflank our observers, and Chris's careful progress starts to pay off as he gets on to three deer. Two of them are potential takers, so Chris selects a target. The Merkel straight pull allows for a quick, slick reload. After checking the first doe is down, Chris confidently moves on to the second. Charged with adrenaline, the second doe makes a few yards before dropping. The mature doe makes her way down, unsure exactly what is occurring, but eventually heading for the horizon.
Chris now approaches the deer to begin the gralic and subsequent extraction. He gets to the second of the two deer first. Put down with a well-placed shot, it's quickly dragged to the first, which was also cleanly shot. Chris gloves up for the gralic and gets to it. With the light fading, time is of the essence. We're doing here is we're, uh, we're losing the light, so we're going to do a fairly quick gralic on both these deer. Suspended gralic, which is probably the cleanest way of doing it. Just using the fingers to prevent the knife penetrating the stomach. Keep that out a bit. And there we have the head and everything attached. Livers, kidneys and hearts certainly won't be going to waste. And Chris has also added two good carcasses to the larder after a very interesting stalk. So, reasonably successful evening. I think we've achieved what we wanted to do. Um, Got out of the car basically and as we said we're going to stoke up the, the little narrow glen. Um, it's an area that we've not been able to shoot I think as I've explained before so we're fairly keen to remove a few deer off there. Uh, I didn't really want to shoot any mature does if we could help it. Um, except the fact you've got to shoot mature does but I'd like to have that done in the early part of the season. So anyway we sort of stoked up the track, not a lot initially and then I think we both decided it was maybe the camera noise that um, spooked a couple of deer that were off to our left. They nicely just moved off the bank and we, we had quite a clear shot from probably about 40 or 50 metres. Um, we identified a doe and a kid and for, unfortunately for us they were right on the top of the skyline and therefore no shot was possible, not safe. So nice to see them anyway. So they drifted off. A little bit further on then we got into a, a door with two followers, which were two buck followers. They nicely fitted the cold plan. Um, ideally wanted to shoot one, but the opportunity arose to shoot both. So we were able to shoot the, the two of them. And then fortunately um, the door ran down in front of the camera, so we got quite a nice shot of the door. I quite enjoyed using the uh, Merkel Helix for the first time. Accurate piece of kit. The Gecko uh, 165 306 Express were excellent. Um, I had sort of some reservations about how they would respond on, on sort of small row, and to be honest, quite pleased. The, the Gen 2 scope on the, the rifle was excellent. Again, I've, that's my first experience of that. I use a Z6i, but I'm a Sarovsky man through and through, and I have been really for all my stalking career. Uh, I found very early on that cheap optics are probably <laughs> a really false economy, and, and it is money well spent. I mean, the, the binoculars, I'm out every day with the binoculars. Um, I think the one thing, that the, the rangefinders are new to me. Um, I've probably had them now for about probably seven or eight months. And it's the confidence it gives the client because you can tell the client precisely how far that deer is in front of you to within two or three yards. And that does seem to instill confidence in them. And it's useful for us, a good backup. But the it's the quality uh, of image that you get, and particularly when you're working in low light levels, which we are doing with commonly with, with Rostock in particular. So um, I'm very familiar with Sarovsky and uh, we'll continue to use it. And happy with it. Very, very happy with it. We'll be seeing more action from Chris Dalton on the shooting show soon. And now, the shooting show news. This is the shooting show news, with the CLA Game Fair less than 16 weeks away. Gamekeeping students from Hart Pre College in Gloucester won the Basque Gamekeeping College clay shoot. 21 teams from colleges across the country entered the event at Doveridge on Wednesday. Liam Ambrose, Will Allen, Rupert Clark and Matthew Davis made up the winning team. Sparsholt College took second place. I think it's uh, quite an important day because it gives students from different colleges from all over the country opportunity to come together, compare notes, mix. Uh, in an atmosphere of friendly rivalry. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable day for all concerned and I'd like to express my thanks and gratitude to BAC for organising the day and I hope it will continue long in the future. There will be a Commons vote on the hunting ban before Parliament is out, says David Cameron. 
This comes after the government failed to reach an agreement on relaxing the Hunting Act to allow the use of a full pack to flush foxes. The Prime Minister said he regretted that this amendment would not be made and reiterated his 2010 promise to hold a free vote on the ban. A petition to the government to legalise the ownership of Tutu rimfire pistols has already received more than 10,000 signatures. Pistols have been prohibited in Great Britain since 1997, effectively seeing an end to target pistol shooting. The latest petition asks for the ban to be reversed to allow a much-loved and all-inclusive sport to flourish once more. Its five-figure signature total means it will receive a published government response. Woodcock numbers are down, according to the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust. The Trust's latest data suggests there are almost 10% fewer woodcock breeding in the UK than there were 10 years ago. But it's not all bad news. Numbers were slightly up in the north of England and northern Scotland. Follow all your game bird news in Modern Gamekeeping magazine. And finally, today is your final chance to submit your response to the 2014 PASEC survey and help define the value of shooting. PASEC last estimated the value of shooting sports to the economy in 2006, when it came up with a figure of £1.6 billion. People who owe their livelihood or sport to shooting are urged to respond before the survey closes tonight. Visit the link on screen to respond. That was the Shooting Show News. This is the new uh, Hatsan Esco Optima over and under, uh, 28 inch barrels, uh, chambered 3 inch cartridges, single selective trigger, uh, standard push forward safety barrel selector. We've got a matte finish, Turkish walnut stock, uh, kiln dried and moisture stabilised so there should be no warping uh, of the stock or thaw end. Basic but comfortable checkering, uh, it gives a good grip, uh, it's not uneasy on the hand. Uh, yeah, it certainly comes up to the shoulder well and uh, it'll definitely do the trick I'm sure. This gun comes with a pretty cool system, it's called a Triopad recoil reducing system and basically there's 5 mil spacers that you can put into the butt here. Uh, there's 3 with, with this model, it comes with 3 to increase or decrease the length of the stock and uh, yeah, it really makes a bespoke fitted gun at home that anybody can do and uh, it certainly does work. We have a steel receiver, a soft scroll engraving and uh, a black chromium finish, outside black matte, uh, inside white chrome finish. We've got a ventilated uh, top rib, uh, 26, 28 and 30 inch barrel options. Uh, this model's a 28 inch model. The gun comes with five steel shot suitable multi-chokes. All in all with the uh, trio pad spacers, it's a well fitting gun. And we're just going to go and see how it works, roost shooting pigeons. I summon fellow shooter Stuart Prickett and we head into the trees. OK, we're all ready. I'm at my stand. Stuart's further on in the spinny there, just to keep the pigeons moving around. Uh, gloves to cover the hands, always a good thing. Nothing worse than white flash to put the pigeons off. Uh, and the same with the face. Net gear to that. Covers up the face. All ready for the pigeons. With the hat sand stoked up, I'm ready to blood it on the woodies, but there's precious little to put the gun up to as the pigeons stay tantalisingly high and just out of range. My first shots in anger don't touch a feather. I'll have to wait a little longer to get on the scoreboard, but it sounds like Stuart is doing better. Stuart getting all the fun there. Well here it's nil poids. Well a gun shoots sweet. Uh, unfortunately, as yet, I've not managed to pull anything down. I've been reaching away at the pigeons, but uh, you know, I'm using 32 gram fives Ely VIP, so they're the babies to bring them down. Just need a little bit more wind and uh, a little less altitude. The wait continues. Then finally, a couple drop in and provide me with my first kill of the evening. Well, that's the start. First one. I'm finally off the mark, but I'll just get one more in the bag tonight. It's not been a vintage evening at the Pigeons, but you can only take what the conditions offer. And the Hatsan has certainly proved itself a capable and very affordable gun. 
Well, Stuart, good job we had Fern there for the final pickup because <laughs> we're struggling on numbers. Yeah. I mean, quiet night, but enjoyable nonetheless. So, mm -hmm. how did you do? I got a brace and uh, say so not too bad. Fantastic. Me too. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> so it's equal. Have days. <laughs> the old, Better uh, look next time. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's hunting, that's shooting. Okay, the end of a quiet night's pigeon shooting, but uh, nevertheless, the old uh, Hatsan Esco Optima shot sweet. Uh, it came to the shoulder very, very well. Uh, managed to get my brace of pigeons. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with it, really, to be fair. Uh, it's a good value uh, gun, and it certainly does the job. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been The Shooting Show.